Greetings, this is Darvan and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum. Oh. So, in the last episode we were exploring this lifts and various other bits. You really annoy me. So, let's get back to it. Okay, now if I remember rightly, down here now I've got over there and I believe we went into the crypt so now it's this lift fortress I think just going to check because well if I stayed on the boat right I believe this goes up to yeah that we did explore that in the end. But it's interesting to see things come together now. So this is Cliff Fort. Get out there much. Door is locked. Fights. <laughs> Slifts aren't much for building walls and buildings. This underground fort was almost undoubtedly of human construction. Then the savage Slifts Erike took it from them, probably violently. This might be an ordinary Slift military installation. There's something else here too, something strange and alien. You can smell sulphur in the air and there's an oppressive feeling of some evil in the air. You don't have time to think about it though because all the sliffs here intend to kill you right away. Okay.
Okay, so pick a direction. Let's go. Well, left. Let's go this way. Curse Javelin, Ring of Vulnerability, Monkey Bracelet. I'll have to get rid of those. Yeah, okay. This box contains some worthless scraps of shreddy paper, some yellow teeth, and an onyx key. Let's take it because we know we're going to need that for the actual fort. The Slift Boss. We were told we needed an onyx key to get in. So, might as well take it here. Hmm. to go right then.
Yay. a magic barrier so guess who can't get through there yay This tiny hidden room is filled with shelves of ancient leather scrolls. Cursory examination reveals they are not a human make. The language and way of writing are far too alien. They must have been made by the Sliths many years ago. Their meanings are entirely alien to you. There are many pictograms on them, of what are clearly a wide variety of demons. Okay. Didn't think you would. Be far too convenient, wouldn't it?
that much there. So the real question is how do we unless we just build the barrier and then through there but that's blocked by a magical barrier just found that out the hard way your mysteries are going to have to wait but we'll be back been a somewhat short episode. Oh, I forget about it. I know I'm going to do it. I always forget about it. So we might as well do it here. Let's get rid of some stuff that we don't need. That's a monkey bracelet. So we can get rid of you. Yep. Yeah. Don't want a ring of vulnerability. And we don't want cursed javelins. They're all gone. Somebody got some.
experience so let's go and see about some training See who got points. Uh, you've got a skill point. Okay. Rosalia. Uh, strength for endurance. At the moment, we're doing endurance, so that's worthwhile. Sure, we'll put a point into use. You never know, just in case, you know, Melissa goes down and we need someone else to take up the reins very quickly. I mean, it's worth noting that there is a level cap in this game. I believe the level cap is 40. How am I doing? I'm going to want to go here. I'm going to sell. Well, not so much sell, just dump, really. Okay, did I mention that I'm an adventurer? Actually, no, we want to find out what that necklace is first. And <coughs> Chill charm. Magical protection from fire. Okay. Well, we've got a crystal charm, which is important for us. Basic charm to protect against acid, I believe. Though we'll go with a chill charm for you, I think. Exit basic charm. Yep. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Silver necklace, yes. Gold necklace, gold bracelets. Are any of fangs which I believe they stack, so we're going to keep those. And some furs. Not in for a great need of a deal need of cash at the moment. So we look at all the stuff that we could take. I don't think we actually need to sell any of these right now.
course once we start spending loads of money on the uber pricey stuff in the Tower of the Magi then we are probably going to need uh, all our money okay make a room for the night So I'm going to save it there. This has been Darvain doing Let's Play Avernum. If you like what you see in here, be sure to like, subscribe, share and comment. Please consider sponsoring me on Patreon. And until the next time, goodbye.